Hi everyone! Welcome to PNC Classic Movie Reviews. Today we're going to talk about another aspect of the movie Casablanca as part of a, a series we're adding in of highlights and specials about Casablanca. And in this one, we're going to talk about the transformation of the character of Rick Blaine, played by Humphrey Bogart, in the movie, and how he goes from being self-oriented to concerned about the world and other people. The very start of the movie introduces the chess scene, where Rick is sitting at the board and he He's sitting on the black side, but he's playing both sides. He's playing against himself, which right on the bat, off the bat, he's playing both sides, which is establishing that he is neutral to both sides. He's not taking a side, which is very important establishment of character right from the get go. He also says things like, I stick my neck out for no one. And Renault says when he's talking to the Germans that Rick is completely neutral about everything which establishes that he's neutral about everything. Definitely. But then as the movie goes on, we start to see transformation. The first place that we wanna highlight where this occurs is when he sits down to have a drink with Ilsa and Victor Laszlo when they come in, because they have established before this that he never does this. So that is a big deal. And that's a very important scene. Yes. Another big deal is the bet he makes with Reno. Uh, he kind of passes it off like this isn't that important, but he makes a bet for 10,000 francs. It would have been 20,000 francs if Louis didn't say, I'm just a poor corrupt official. <laughs> um, that Laszlo will escape, which is clearly establishing that he has an interest in Laszlo escaping. Right, even though he says it's just sporting. Yeah. Uh, and then there's also the part where he allows the Bulgarian couple to win at roulette to prevent the young woman having to um, give herself to Renault in order to get the visas that gives the couple the money to actually purchase the visas. And that obviously is different because everybody completely freaks out about that. The employees, Renault. It's really funny. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, and it's great that they make it a funny part of the movie too, but it's, it's obvious from their reactions hmm. how, how much of a difference this is and probably something he has never done or extremely rare. I got the impression he never had done it before. Probably. Me too. Yeah. The last thing that really establishes his transformation before the end of the movie plays out is his second meeting with Ilsa, where in contrast to the first meeting where he doesn't listen to her, he's just drunk and in his own head, he does listen to her the second time. He hears the story about Laszlo and he agrees to think for both of them after Ilsa asks him to in the last state of need, which is really selfless and definitely a transformation in his character. And he went from being bitter to mm. being open yeah. hearted, basically. Mm. And from being like this sort of hard to being soft, actually. Right. Soft in a, in a good way. <laughs> mm. um, yeah, so that's huge. And then uh, after that, we have the famous transformative scene of the playing of La Marseillaise when oh, yeah. the Germans are singing their national anthem and then but the other people in the cafe start singing the French national anthem La Marseillaise led by Laszlo right and then Laszlo wants the band to start playing but the band wants Rick's permission in order to play the song and Rick nods subtly saying yes, which is very important to the movie because if he doesn't nod, then he lets the Germans win in a sense by the fact that the Germans took over the piano, they start singing, but um, they don't win, 
Laszlo wins, the French win, which is really important. Yeah, and it's interesting, this, this really uh, shift in the story moment where, you know, Rick really, really takes sides, but it's yeah. also done in this subtle way, mm -hmm. in the sense that it's a powerful scene, but all Rick does is, nod. is give the nod. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, too. And so all of these things are the build of his transformation, and he's getting more and more open about caring about others, out more out of himself. And, and uh, just that it builds up, you know, to the end of the movie. But even though for a while you think that he does, it, it's not him caring about him. I'm sorry, I said that backwards. It that he is still caring about himself by the fact that he's going to try to, he's acting like he's going to have Ilsa stay there with him. And in the end of the movie, he does not have Ilsa stay with him. He sends her with Laszlo, which that in and of itself is, he get, he's giving up a girl in a sense, but he's also helping Laszlo to escape, which we feel is the kind of coup de grace of his transformation. So it's personal and it's, let's say political, social. So it's, it's multi-level even. So huge transformation. Um, so yeah, we love how this plays into the story as a whole and the way they unfold it. Yeah. They, they do a really good job, even though they, they wrote it. They wrote it as they went well, along. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think it really shows that Rick's transformation is a big part of the movie, that AFI has him as the fourth greatest hero of all time, and the ones above him aren't, they don't transform the way that Rick does, um, but Rick does transform, which I think really makes him unique, but also establishes him and Casablanca as a great character and a great movie. Yeah, and uh, so in another video, we're going to also talk about how his transformation is thought to have been symbolic mm -hmm. of the transformation of the United States during World War II from isolationism to participation. So keep an eye out for that as another feature special as well as other movies. Other movies. Thank you again for being here and we'll see you next time. Bye.